Today, we're going to show you how to build an Amazon affiliate store with WordPress. That way, you can start selling items on your site without needing to stock those items yourself, and you can start earning an affiliate commission. So here's what's coming up in this video. First, we're going to show you how to purchase web hosting and set up your WordPress site. Then we'll walk you through installing and setting up the best plugin for creating an Amazon store, WooCommerce. Next, we'll show you how to become an Amazon affiliate, and we'll walk you through the entire process so you can start selling products right away. Then we'll show you how to start adding Amazon products to your WordPress site. And last, we're going to take just a moment to talk about a couple of alternatives to WooCommerce that you can use to get started with Amazon. So you want to be sure to check out all the links that we've left in the description. And while you're here, hit the subscribe button and notification bell and be part of the conversation. So we'll dive right in. Let's begin with web hosting. Now for that, we'll use Bluehost. We'll head over to Bluehost website. With Bluehost, you get a free domain for the first year, a free SSL certificate that encrypts the information transferred between the site and your visitors, a one-click WordPress installation that makes things super simple, 24-7 support, and that way if you have any issues with your site, Bluehost team is there to help. Now, you're going to find a link in the description to Bluehost, and as a full disclosure, it's an affiliate link, so we get a small commission if you use that. Next, you'll want to click on the Get Started Now button. For beginners, Bluehost Basic Plan is a good choice. It includes one website, 50 gigabytes of space, and a domain name. You can always upgrade to the Plus or Choice plans in the future. All right, now we'll create a domain name for your site. So we enter the name that you'd like to use for your site and click Next. Bluehost will automatically let you know if it's available. And if it is, you'll see this giant green button. And if it's not, then Bluehost is going to provide suggestions for you to try. All right, now scroll down and fill in your information and click the drop-down menu to choose between 36, 24, and 12 months. You'll notice that the domain name, registration, and SSL certificate are all free. So for this tutorial, we're going to choose Basic, and then we'll scroll down and uncheck these upgrades. You can always opt into them later if you like. There are WordPress plugins that you can install that will do much of the very same thing. Now scrolling down, you'll see the total amount of your savings. In this case, it's 50% off. Next, you'll need to enter your credit card information. Then read and tick the box that you've read the auto renewal policy. And once you're done, click submit. Once Bluehost processes your information, they'll send your login credentials to the email address that you signed up with. So keep that information safe and handy for later. Now Bluehost will install WordPress for you. Now that we've installed WordPress, you'll want to get your site set up correctly. Now, we've made an entire article and video that shows you how to do that. So be sure to check out the link to our post and video on how to set up a WordPress site for beginners. After you've set up the site, the next thing that you'll do is install WooCommerce. It's the best e-commerce plugin for WordPress. So we're going to head over to the admin sidebar, hover the mouse over plugins, and then click Add New. In the search bar, type WooCommerce. So we'll install and activate that plugin. All right, great. Now WooCommerce Setup Wizard is going to walk us through each step. As an online Amazon affiliate store, we'll not be taking payments or dealing with shipping and things like that. So we'll scroll down and select Skip Store Details. So now your website is ready for you to start adding products. Now the next thing we'll do is set up an Amazon Associates account. Now to get started, search for the Amazon Affiliate Program. All right, this is the one we want, so let's go ahead and click that link. All right, now you'll need to sign up for an Amazon account or create one. If you already have an Amazon account, then it'll just connect using your existing Amazon account. Now you need to add your website name so they know which website the affiliate items are coming from. Then click Add. And then we can go to Next. Now Amazon is going to ask if these products are made for children under 13 because they have other requirements. So in this case, we'll say no because they aren't, and we'll click Confirm. All right, then you'll need to fill out this information. Now once you're finished, it will show your Amazon Associates area. Now that's where you can start grabbing your product links. Now one quick thing here. Site Stripe should be turned on by default, but if it's not, you can click the cog on the top right of your screen to view options and ensure it's turned on by default. Now, anytime you go to Amazon.com, this toolbar is going to appear on the top, and that's going to make it easy for you to get any product links for your store. All right, now we need to start creating links for our site. So we're going to use this Asus laptop as our first product. Since SiteStripe is active, we can just click on text. Now, you can 
either use the short link or when it's full, short links are easier to manage, so we'll just copy this. Now we can add this product to our store. All right, before we go any further, just so you know, as an Amazon associate, you've got 180 days to make three sales on your Amazon associates account. If you don't do that, then Amazon's going to close your account. You'll have to go through this entire process all over again. So you want to try and make at least three successful sales. And by the way, those sales can't come from you, your family, or your friends. Now we're going to head back over to our website. And on the admin sidebar, we'll hover our mouse over products and then click add new. Next, you'll add the product name and then your description here. Just make sure that the description, specifications, or images aren't copied directly from Amazon. You have to have an API to do that, and it's best not to pull any of that information in manually. Once you've finished filling out the description, scroll down, and under the product data, we're going to choose External Affiliate Product in the drop-down. Then we'll paste in the Amazon affiliate link of the product that we're selling. Next, we'll enter the text for the button. Now, make sure that you leave the prices blank because you cannot manually add them in here. All right, let's go back to Amazon for a moment. While we can upload Amazon's product image manually to the site, we can still use Amazon's image. All you have to do is click on Image in the Side Stripe bar and then copy it. Amazon automatically inserts your affiliate tracking information in this link. Now we'll go back to the WordPress site. To get this image to show up, we'll need to switch from visual to text and start a new line and paste all that information here. All right, now let's go back to visual and we have a product image. Now once we've edited the information, we'll go ahead and click publish. Now let's see how the product looks on the site. Now to do that, we'll just open it up in a new tab. Now, when someone clicks on the Buy on Amazon button or they click the image, it'll land on Amazon's site. And since the link is going to include your affiliate ID, if they make a purchase, you'll get credit for it. So then you just need to add all the products that you want to sell on your site as an Amazon affiliate. Now, if you're interested in an alternative for adding Amazon affiliate links to your site, then you'll want to check out a plugin like Pretty Links or Thirsty Affiliates Pro. With Thirsty Affiliates, creating Amazon affiliate links is a breeze. You can cloak long, ugly affiliate links, protect your commissions from theft, easily insert affiliate links into your blog post. Plus, you can use the Amazon import feature to search and import Amazon affiliate link products directly into your site and a whole lot more. So be sure to check out the link to Thirsty Affiliates and Pretty Links in the description below. Now, once you start getting traffic to your site, you want to know where that traffic's coming from and your conversion rate and a lot more. That way you can improve your sales and boost your revenue. So by connecting your site to Google Analytics and installing Monster Insights, you can see all that data right in your WordPress dashboard. As a matter of fact, with Monster Insights, you can see the sessions and page views for your site. And then you can scroll down and see how long people are staying on your site, the number of page views and a lot more. Monster Insights also allows you to track your top affiliate links so you can see which links people are clicking on the most, which products are performing the best, and what you need to do to improve to make more sales. Now that's it for this video, and we don't want you to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price. So be sure to check out the discount link in the description, and to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.